the third concept for mole calculation is the titration formula titration formula is when you are using two solutions reacting with each other whenever you have two solutions two aqueous substances so the formula for that is cv over n of the first thing equals cv over n of the second thing i'll give you an example of this so over here c is concentration volume and number of moles the n is coming from the equation so let's say we have this question that 10 cm cube h2so4 is reacted with 25 cm cube okay so this is a pretty straightforward question what have they given us we know h2so4 is solution and oh is solution they're both aqueous okay so i'll write the equation naoh plus h2so4 i know they're both aqueous solution they both react i'll get na2so4 plus water now again you have already seen this equation before this is acid base reaction neutralization okay so this is what they've given us let's first take their data out we know the volume of this is 10 cm cube notice how i'm writing the data i'm separating everything this volume is 25 cm cube this is concentration 0.1 mole per dm cube you can write mole dm minus 3 or mole per dm cube they're same and this is one this is unknown now i know that there are two solutions so i can use titration formula so cv over n of first one i can say that okay that is sodium hydroxide is equal to cv over n of the second one which in this case would be h2so4 it does not matter whether you put h2so4 as the first solution or the second solution doesn't matter okay so my first solution is any anyway. which what is the concentration 0.1 what is volume 25 the good part about titration formula is that you don't need to convert this to dm cube you absolutely don't need to if you were doing the stoichiometry the way we studied earlier then you of course you will have to convert it to dm cube by dividing by 1000 but because i'm using titration formula i don't need to. okay what is n n is the mole ratio from equation so in sodium hydroxide it will be two similarly for acid we don't know the c we know the volume is 10 no need to convert to dm cube divided by one when it's not written it is one so this gives me 0 0.1 times 25 over 2 is equal to 10 times c so c comes out to be 0 0.1 times 25 over 2 times 10 notice that i did not do any calculation even if it is easy I don't care about that. I will simply put that all in the calculator. So 0.1 multiplied by 25 divided by 2 times 10, 0 0.125 mole dm minus 3. There you go. That's my concentration. So whenever you have two solutions reacting, you can use the titration formula and that will make things much, much easier for you. Last thing in moles is dilution. This is something which is very rare. It's They don't usually ask you about it. So in dilution, if they do, I remember just one or two questions in the whole 10 years that I've been looking at these papers. So in dilution, what they do is they add water to something, which means that number of moles before adding water is equal to number of moles after adding water. It's a solution. So I know that n equal to cv so in that case i can say that cv before they added equal to cv after they added and that is useful why because now i know that for example they said that uh, uh, in atp they can always be like okay the solution was at, made up to 250 cm cube and it was 25 cm cube before so you can always use that to figure out the concentration or volume after the water is added. I'll give an example. Two gram, uh, two gram sodium chloride. Okay, so you see this whole essay of a question. What are they saying? They started with two gram sodium chloride. They added it to 25 cm cube solution. Then they added more water to make up to the mark. 
make up to the mark simply means that they added enough water so the total volume was 250 we don't know how much water was added total was 250 okay so first of all let's figure out the concentration before it was added i have 2 grams sodium chloride so i need to first find moles so number of moles is 2 over sodium chloride is 58.5 so 58 to divided by it's going to be a really small value so that is 0 0.0342 moles i'm writing into three significant figures so n equal to cv okay uh now here's the thing i just need to figure out the concentration after the water was added so there is a faster way to do this but there's a slower one let me show you both so since I know 0 0.0342 equal to concentration times volume was what 25 cm cube. So 25 over a thousand. So this will give me that uh, the concentration before it was added. Was simply a thousand multiplied with this. So this will be 34.2 is equal to 25 C. C is equal to 34.2 over 25, which is 1.37 moles TM minus 3 as a concentration before water was added. Now, here's the thing. Do we need to know that? No, because in the question, they said find the new concentration. Now, I can use this method to solve this. That number of moles before is equal to number of moles after. So what is my number of moles before? It was 0 0.0342. And what's the number of moles after? C times V. The volume afterwards is 250 cm cube. So I can simply find the 0 0.0342 times 1000 is equal to C times 250. So C is equal to 0 0.0342 times 1000 over 250. And I will figure out the value. Okay, sir, why do we divide the volume by 1000? To convert it to DM cube. Okay. Because the standard unit that we use is liters or DM cube. Got it. Yeah, so this gives me 0 0.137 mole DM minus 3. So the whole point is basically that if you are ever adding water and making up in a volumetric solution, Number of moles doesn't change. That's the only thing that matters. Uh, and again, as I said, this is a very, very rare question that they ask in O levels or IGCSE. In A levels, they ask it every year. In O levels and IGCSE, it's rare. And yeah, that's about it for moles. Uh, I'm going to give you some more questions on this. Sure, I have a doubt. If yeah. we can uh, before, 